and we are sure in the midst of the heat wave right now in Western Montana. So yesterday morning, I asked a few of you on Facebook to send us photos of you and how your pets are beating the heat. We got plenty of submissions. I'm going to try and show as many as I can over the next few days because this heat wave isn't going anywhere. But here's one good example of what to do this week. Go find that cold water with a good life jacket. This photo is from Jan or Yan. I don't know which one, but thank you for sending it in with your cute pup hazelnut. This is on Lake Como in the Bitterroot. Beautiful shot. Here's another one, another pup and a nice little paddle paddleboard from Alyssa. I don't know where this is exactly, but it looks gorgeous out there and it looks like you went out at the right time. It looks a little cooler out there today, though. The heat has turned up just a few degrees. We are expecting more triple digit temperatures. We hit several yesterday. Today's sort of round three, so get ready for this type of heat. Upper 90s for the Flathead Valley. Triple digit heat for Troy all the way down to Missoula, Stevensville, possibly even Hamilton today. Derby and Sula look warm as well. About 91 in Phillipsburg if you want to go cool off. That's about the coolest spot we've got today. A little bit of haze possible as well. There are fires burning in Washington, Oregon, and California. Bigger ones than what we've got currently here in Montana. A little bit of smoke may pull in over the next few days, but here is some good news. Our heat advisory has actually changed. It was supposed to stay in place until Friday. It now ends tonight, but I say this with a warning. It may get reissued because the heat just does not look to let up for us over the next little bit. Let me show you the long range forecast here. This is what a climate prediction center is saying for July 15th through the 19th. This is the six to 10 day outlook below average precipitation. Now let me show you the temperatures way above average temperature. So this is just the six to 10 day outlook. The eight to 14 day outlook says the same thing. So keep this in mind that we've got to continue to take precautions against this heat. The peak of it, at least for this week, looks to be today. Tomorrow we've got some incoming winds. That means increased fire danger. Saturday we could see maybe a little bit of monsoon moisture pull in. But again, keep this number one thing in mind that the heat is here long term for about the next two weeks. We don't see any changes ahead in the forecast for us until then. So check out your seven day forecast with that in mind. Still plenty of 90s and lots of sunshine to go. We're really not going to cool off from the 90s. It looks like for the next two weeks. A little bit of haze again. Remember out there, I'll continue to monitor air quality. We may see it uh, decrease in quality over the next few days as those winds change a little bit, but be extra careful with fire precautions as well. And in this heat, please stay cool.